Okay guys, today's lesson is on the drop shot. The ultimate shot, the dropper. Okay, um, when you think about it, most players, when they learn how to play tennis, and they've been, even players that have been playing for a long time, they love to run corner to corner, side to side. But many players and many of your opponents do not like to move forward, up and back. So the drop shot is an amazing tool for you to have because many players feel like a fish out of water when they're pulled into the net. So you really need this shot. Now, most of the time, the drop shot is hit with a continental grip, which allows you to open the face, whether you're hitting a backhand or a forehand. Either shot, you've got an open face racket that allows you to hit with some backspin, underspin, or slice. Because that, with that type of spin, the ball's gonna either spin off to the side or it's going to die slightly. It's not going to go towards your opponent. Okay, so you wanna learn to hit your drops, drop shots with some slice. Now some players, you'll see them actually hit a drop shot uh, players on the tour with a semi-western grip. Now that's not as easy to do, it takes a lot more feel, but a lot of players are doing that now. Personally, I like to change my grip, but if I can set up like I'm gonna hit, you know, a drive, let's say, and then change the grip at the last second and hit the little slice dropper. So the goal when you're out practicing the slice you know, rally with a friend, just like you're playing a point, and then one of you has to hit a drop shot. Try and make the ball bounce two or three times before it reaches the service line. Now, if you can do that, you're gonna have some awesome drop shots. Now, the thing about the drop shot too is, don't be afraid to get net clearance. Because if your drop shot starts out kinda high, Many times your opponent's not sure if the ball's coming back deep. They may read it wrong is what I'm saying. So make sure you get the net clearance. That's key. As long as you have the backspin and the slice, it's not going to go towards your opponent. So let's work on that shot right now. Okay, you could see on that last point, perfect opportunity to use a drop shot because I'm close to the net. Now remember too, drop shots, you don't wanna try them when you're five, 10 feet behind the baseline. It's a foolish shot at that point, at least on the baseline. So you wanna be in the baseline area minimum, if not in closer. Closer you are to the service line, the better drop shots work. Okay, when I see my opponent has hit a short ball, I step inside the baseline. The racket starts to come up high, and as you notice here, the racket's much higher than the ball. This enables me to get the backspin or slice. Now I soften the hand and go for good net clearance. Okay, as I come down and through, notice how high the ball is here. I'm getting that good net clearance, yet the ball will still bounce twice. Once, twice, you'll see the second bounce here before the service line. That's the goal when you're practicing your drop shots. See, and the beauty of a drop shot too is your opponent doesn't know what's coming. I mean, you can drop it or hit it deep up the line, use, it, use your slice as an approach shot. Five to 10 times 
in a two to three set match. More if you're going three out of five, if you're on the tour. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> that way you're moving your opponent, not just side to side, but up and back. And many players do not like coming forward. All the best, take care.